welcome. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. It's 2024. Hello. Happy 2024. Did everybody have a lovely holiday? I had a lovely holiday. I feel like I'm quiet. I feel like I'm quiet. Let's, let's turn this up. Okay. I think that's probably better now. Yeah, that looks way better. That looks way better. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hello. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. Um, I'm so happy to be streaming again. I missed y'all so much. Um, how did you like the new starting sc soon screen? I know I officially launched it in December, but now in 2024 is our official rebrand. Uh, we are a Final Fantasy stream now, primarily. Uh, Inner stage window with our um, podcast still happens. Yes, it was supposed to happen today. Yes, we were supposed to be talking about Twilight. However, Landon is sick. She has maybe the vid. I don't know, but she's way too sick to stream. So we are not doing Twilight. That is postponed. We're going to check in with her next weekend and see how she's feeling. All right. So that's that about that. But today we are going to play more of our Final Fantasy X-2. We are doing our second new game plus, so our third run. And uh, we're doing the Fiend Tales. We're doing the Fiend Tales. So I'm going to get the game going. And we're going to be doing that today. All right. Looks like everybody can hear. Yes, you guys can hear. Okay. Let's make sure my controller is going. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Come on, OBS. Load the game for them. There we go. I knew you could do it. All right. Here we are. Chapter two. Okay. If I remember right where we were before the holiday, I should just have to go up here. Yeah, up to the cabin for the next step. Or I guess down to the cabin. Forgot to open my LaCroix at first. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got guava today. Guava. Yes, okay. We gotta push these guys. Now, here's Tobli. <sighs> We're gonna have to push Tobli. That's how you get the Enterprise accessory. So, uh, so yeah. And um, you don't want to push the other guys first, because if you do that and you don't push Tobli, then the game ends. So we have to push, like, totally. So let's see if we can do this. It's really, it's actually very hard. Um, this is a very difficult accessory to get. Um, my under, the way I think we're supposed to do this is get him up against this side and then, like, push him, inch him this way. If I can even get him to stop walking so much. Because he won't stop moving, unlike the other three musicians. So, uh, yeah, we're starting out with, uh, with a, l a little bit of a difficult task. But here we go. We're gonna concentrate, we're gonna try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's pushing me. Tobly. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, do I need to push some of these guys out the way first? No, maybe I just need to do this. Oh, I, have to I bet I have to talk to them. Um, I'm singing tonight, yes. Okay, there we go. Now the game will start. Yeah, push, push. Time to push, push. Okay. Now I should be able to do it and pin him. There we go. Okay, we got him pinned. Just have to keep inching forward without giving him room on either side of me. And the camera's gonna flip so you, it's not just a straight line. Come on. Don't you escape. Nope, bitch. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Toble. 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 Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Pinned. Oh, 
Hobley, why don't you want to get pushed? It's fun. All the other musicians like it. Okay, here we go. We got him pinned again. Oh my god! We were so close! So close yet so far! Oh my gosh, okay. Try again. We try again. Get out of my way. Drummer boy. Okay. Ah! Thought you were gonna make it all the way back there? My gosh. You thought right, apparently! Ha ha! Got him. Okay. Now we gotta push all the rest of these bozos. Get in there. Got him! Yay! Splendid, simply splendid! Yay! Enterprise, so that's how you get the Enterprise accessory. You have to skip over the Tobley stuff in Chapter 1 so that he gets onto the airship and then you push him. Push him real good. Can we skip this scene? Oh my gosh, it won't even let me pause! I guess we can't skip this scene. Yep, it's not letting me. This game is so picky about when it lets me skip scenes and not skip scenes. Yeah, I still can't. <laughs> well, um, while we're doing this scene that we've already seen twice, um, I would uh, I would love to hear from you guys what y'all did for Christmas. So if anybody's hanging out in the chat that's not um, just lurking, tell me what you did for Christmas. We took a cruise. Uh, we took a cruise down to like the Bahamas and uh, Grand Turk. It was really nice. We went on the Carnival Mardi Gras, which is a boat that I've not been on before. I've actually not, I used to cruise like really super frequently, um, which I don't know how much y'all know about this because I kind of stopped a lot of cruising whenever uh, you know, the pandemic happened, which is around when I started streaming. <laughs> and I've only taken, I think, one other cruise since I started streaming, but we took one for Christmas. Um, it was really nice, but I don't know if, and I've not done a, Chris, a cruise during Christmas this for, before, and um, Why am I, so I don't bad? know if I would do a cruise How during Christmas again. We know who Len is, you know, you'll find out soon. Um, <laughs> But the weather was actually kind of, it was like so windy and it was, and it was, because it was so windy, it was actually cold, which I mean, I cru I've cruised a lot in like the fall, like September and October and stuff. And I've never experienced like poor weather, even though I know that's hurricane season, but still, but still. So I was really surprised. I'm going to go to bed. I was really surprised. Can we, oh, we can pause now. We can, we can, we can skip. Thank God. I don't know when it was going to allow us to skip, but apparently at some point we were allowed to skip and I just didn't realize it. Can we skip this one? It's not letting me pause to skip. It's not letting me pause to skip. Cruise review. Yes, that's right, Jane. Hello, Jane. What did you do for Christmas? Did you do anything fun for Christmas or New Year's? Um, but it was really nice. I liked the Carnival Carnival Mardi Gras. Um, they had the, the dining set up kind of different than on other cruises. Oh, my gosh. It still won't let me pause and skip. So we're going to watch this, like, really intense scene while I talk about cruise food. 
<laughs> you know, they had the MDR, the main dining room, like they normally would, but you could actually attend a couple of the restaurants, like the Italian restaurant um, and the and Rudy's, the seafood restaurant, as a main dining room. So, like, the first time you went, it was for free, and then the next time it was only, like, $8 or something. Um, and I think it was the Italian and... No, it was the Italian and then Chibang, which is their Mexican and Asian fusion restaurant. Rudy's was pay for. Yeah, Rudy's was pay for. Um, and so, like, that was kind of interesting. We didn't go to Chibang. We did go to the Italian one twice. And I, like, I liked the Italian restaurant on this boat. It was good. We did not go to the main dining room at any point. We went to the steakhouse. We went to the sushi place, which was actually... It's, the bonsai sushi was really bad on this cruise. I don't know what was up with it, but we went towards the end. Maybe that was the problem. I don't know, but it wasn't good. We went to the steakhouse the first night. And the steakhouse was actually excellent on this cruise it reminded me so much of how the steakhouse used to be on carnival like you know seven eight years ago before they went to that like salt concept thing anyway that whole salt concept wasn't there anymore thank god uh and everything was really good <laughs> like the onion soup tasted like the onion soup of old it was it was delicious but my favorite was Rudy's, which I had not experienced. I think it's only on this latest what? class of ships, what Rudy's, what? the seafood restaurant. It must have oh my God, it was amazing. It was dreams and dreams. amazing. If you get a chance to Why go on one of these boats, jammies? you've got to go to Rudy's. <laughs> okay, pay the fee. It's worth it because they have a dessert called uh, white chocolate bread pudding. And the white chocolate bread pudding is the same as Bitter and Blanc from 2013. Okay. Okay, if, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. It's the most delicious dessert ever, period. Um, so good. And uh, we had to go twice. <laughs> After we went the first time, we ended up booking it. Um, we had booked it a second time. And we were thinking about canceling it. But I was like, absolutely the fuck not, because I'm What's eating that, that again. Returning the I'm eating that, uh, that white chocolate bread pudding again. And I did. And it was so good. And, and it hurt my stomach. And it was so worth it. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Oh yeah, we have to decide. I've decided. Okay, so to get all of the fiend tails properly, you do have to pick Youth League. So we are going to pick Youth League. Uh, yeah, Youth League. You cannot pick New Yevon. If you pick New Yevon, you will not be able to get certain fiend tails. So that's what we're picking. Oh my god, it was so good. Jaina was so good. So by the way... We're going on the Mardi Gras again in March so that Jeff can go with us too. And um, you bet you I am going to get that bread pudding as many times as I can afford to get it. Just saying. <laughs> uh, I cannot. I just, I cannot. Oh my God, it was so good. It Basically what it is, is it's like, okay, can I skip this one? Apparently I can't skip this one. So basically what it is, it's like a layer of like, bourbon dark chocolate on the bottom and of course it ends up melted because it's a bread pudding and then it's like the bread pudding on top like a white chocolate bread pudding on top and then they have this like white chocolate sauce that you pour on top of the bread pudding and then you eat it and oh my god oh my god i i i've never i mean i love bread pudding but this is like amazing she got us okay well let us skip most of the scenes just not the leblanc one for whatever reason Mission time! Okay, it's time to do a Star Wars, y'all. You remember this. We gotta get them uniforms. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna go fill up on fiends again. We're gonna go catch some fiends. So let's go do this. Jeff, yes, yeah. So he's gonna come with us in March. It's gonna be so cool. Hopefully the weather will be a bit better in March. Um, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Jane, by the way, um, when, when, are, when, are, when are you ready to... Uh, to talk about the thing. When is the thing happening? <laughs> when is the thing happening? Oh, we need new save data. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I know everything. You know something, Shinra. Okay, we're gonna go to, yeah. Shinra's guide to, no, no, no. How do we do this? I know. A creature creator, that's right. Why did my eyes skip right over the first one? Okay. I'm, I can remember how to play this game. It's not been that long. It's not been that long. <laughs> We're going to open the server to Cafe Add on Friday. Okay. 
Yes, everybody, um, if you're not in the cafe, get in the cafe and you should definitely keep an eye on the, um, there we go. You should definitely keep an eye on uh, the role play groups um, section uh, in the cafe on Friday. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited for what Jane and, and the friends have been working on. <laughs> Is that okay to say Jane and the friends? I feel like that's, that's accurate. Is that accurate? All right, so we need to, I think I just have the chocobo. Yeah, I just have the chocobo. Okay. So we are gonna trap some creatures. Thanks for the shout out, Karen. You're so welcome, Jane. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, Jane and the friends. Okay. Yes, Jane and the friends. Okay, what do we got? We got a lot of specials. We got some smalls and we have a large. Okay, what do I need? I'm trying to see like if there's any where I need the specials. Okay, yes, there is. All right, so Mushroom Rock Road. We're gonna capture a human. And here we go. <laughs> it's Elma. We love her. We love Elma. Bobby Noms Brie. Yeah. Jane and the friends. Jane, Bobby, Noms Brie. <sighs> yes. I'm so excited. Okay. The regular pals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's true. It is the regular pals. Okay. That's Elma. Um, let's also go to Mount Gagazette. Oh, wait. Set trap pod. Okay, we're gonna use our large in Mount Gagazette. Yes, Rook, that's what we want. Uh, done. Now, there are um, fiends that you can get again that, you know, some of the chapter one fiends will repeat. So if you missed them, you do have a chance to re-get them. Now, we got all of the chapter one fiends, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but that is a thing in this game. All right, also, let's get a... Um, just to kind of like make our lives easier we're gonna we don't really need to use the specials on on any of the other ones like they're catchable without but um we are gonna use the specials on on some of them let's do that so where's the bee species wasp okay it's called wasp there we go vespa yes that's what we wanted Mark them off. All right, let's do uh, in B Canal. What's Bandelier? There's Machina. Let's get the Machina in B Canal. Uh, Machina Hunter. That is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. Um, but do I need that one? It doesn't say I've done the fiend tail for it. So. But he's not on my list either. Maybe I have a mistake on my list. Let's see. I'm going to go look at my list from last time we played. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I'll let him in because I don't it doesn't say that I've done his fiend tail yet. Okay, let's try again. With uh B Canal and Machina. Guard Machina, that's the one I expected to get. All right. Well, I guess we'll add Machina Hunter to the list. Very interesting. Very interesting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
All right. Uh, let's go back and look at how many we have now. Okay, we have room for two more. <gasps> Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you so much. Maybe I have done Machina Hunter and I just don't remember. Okay, we can capture two more. All right, we've got... Let's try to capture the one we need from Moonflow. Flan Blanco, that's it? Yes. All right, and then let's go to Guado Salam. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's that trap pod. There we go. All right. Oh, no, it's Goon. That's not what we want. Uh, no, you can't join the Goings. There we go, Mr. Goon. That's what we want. Okay. Uh, creature creator menu. All right, as y'all remember from last time, for the humans, you can release them immediately. There's no fiend tail, so you can just release them. The only reason that they're here is so if you want to have that character in your party. Also, Flan Blanco that we got we can release Flan Blanco. This is one of those ones. See, it says creature analysis failed. This fiend lives to fight. You'll know when it says this fiend lives to fight. You can just immediately release it. All right. So then what we need to do is we need to trap two more. We're going to keep going with the Guado Salam ones. Okay, Viper Sniper. Yes. And let's do that again. Okay, Miss Goon. Yes, we can use her. All right, now let's do return to the airship. And we need to actually do a couple of things in the game itself. So let's adjust our party. Um, let's put, let's not do the Rook. Let's do three small ones. Let's put the Viper Sniper, um, the Vespa, and the Machina Hunter in our party. Uh, is this what we want? Yeah, 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 that should be fine. Okay. What were we using for them? Was I putting them in Valiant Luster? Yeah, yeah, no, I was. I was doing Valiant Luster and Psychic for all of my fiends. That's right, that's right. All right, and um, for you, let's do Did I put Did I put my good accessories back on the girls? Yes, I did.
Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do this. Oh no, it's gonna make me choose. It's gonna make me choose. Okay, whatever. Okay, now I can put the Iron Dukes on the, on these guys. All right, uh, let's go back to equip. Yes, okay. Adamantite, Iron Duke, Iron Duke, and I don't know, what do we want to give him? him a crystal bangle and let's give him the caster stuff maybe he'll cast some didn't really put a caster in my party but sure you can be the caster machina hunter okay so now we need to go to me high road because we're gonna have to unlock the chocobo dungeon um to make uh, to make us be able to get all of the fiends that we need to get. So here we go. Meehan High Road. I forgot Callie's not there at first. I have to go in here. Sorry, but you won't be able to go. I see. Sorry to bother you. Don't worry, Callie. I got your back. You aren't Lady Yuna. I. I don't. It's me. So after we answer her question, we can skip. Um, yes, we're gonna help her. And we need to pass this mini game. We cannot fail it. It went this way. And we don't need to worry this time about making sure Riku falls on her butt or anything, because we're not trying to accuse Riku for the Mihen mayhem later on. Ooh, there it is. So, close to me. I'll get that chocobo. We kind of do this however we want so long as we win. It doesn't matter how. It's over there. And remember Riku is never correct. She never knows where the chocobo went. No, it didn't. It's over there. There it is. You told me wrong, Riku. You told me wrong so many times. I watch the far end. No joke. I've got the And that leaves me. All right, Yuna. You can do this. Oh, 
Miss. Oh my gosh, Miss again! I'm usually better at guessing. There we go. That was just me pushing the control stick the wrong way. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I guess we didn't do good enough to not skip this little part. Let's hurt. If you do well enough on that first part, you don't have to do this part at all. Alright, Chibokabo, you are mine. There's well, we won't get anywhere. Ever. Hover time. There we go. Can we skip this scene? Yes, we can. All right, time to save Kelly. And because we also let Klaus go on the airship, he should join us too.
All right. Battle time. Our fiend should be able to take this guy, no problem. You guys take it from here. We will. Let's clean up. That was a lot of damage. Good job, Vespa. Oh, yes, he did use some magic. That, you, giving them that for the flare is so OP. Oh, I forgot to try to skip. Oh, well. Mission complete now. Yeah, the Machina Hunter, I just was double checking during that, which is why I was kind of like distracted. Um, he was on my chapter three list for some reason. So I guess you can catch him in chapter two and three. I do not know why um, in my notes, he was not on my chapter two list. Maybe he's like really rare within chapter two and he's more common in chapter three. I don't know, anyways. We finished that mission. You do need to do that to be able to get all the fiend tails. And then we have to do the thing where we go back because we need to invite Callie onto the airship. Uh, yeah, me and I rode. Yep, so there's our two friends, so let's go get them. All right, so we did get some levels for those fiends that we are leveling. So let's go see if we finish any of their tails. I don't think they got enough levels to do that, but let's just go double check. Yeah, no. So then none of them should have. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So we can just go do the next thing. All right, the next thing we need to complete in this chapter is to grab the Crimson Sphere that's in this chapter. So for that, we're gonna go to Mushroom Rock Road. And all we should have to do for this is just go down to that Den of Woe area. I think so long as you go down there after the, the um, Chocobo Thing, then you get this sphere. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so because they, um... So because we chose Youth League this time, they're escorting us instead of fighting us. Y'all know how that goes. Oh my gosh. I kind of wish they'd just fight us. <laughs> Instead of interrupting us, I don't need your help. I appreciate it. I do very much appreciate it, but it is completely unnecessary. I have two Iron Dukes. Okay, I'm OP. All right, here's where we want to go.
How did that not just kill it? Can't believe it has over 300 HP. I thought those things had low HP. Well, it's dead now. Okay, go on. There we go. So hard to see the camera down there. Okay, yes. Crimson Sphere 7. Perfect. That's what we wanted from here. Alright, the next thing we need to do in this chapter is go to the Calm Lands. We're basically trying to do all the uniform stuff, non-uniform stuff first before we do the uniform required missions. I believe in you, Clasco. Your... You run fast. Alright, y'all remember this mission, right? We have to go free up this old area. I get the feeling you turn it into the Chocobo Ranch. If only there were Mission time. Alright, we know how to do this. We just have to look at the way the fiends are facing. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course the first one I look at is one without a face. Oh my gosh, why is it all elementals? Okay. Alright, it's over on the other side. Hey, Lunar, how's it going? <gasps> hello, hello! How are you? Okay, I think it's... I guess it's... This one? Triple shock. Hey, I'm so sorry if you ended up asking me a question. Um, and another question afterwards, I was having so much trouble with getting Twitch to load stuff last night. So, um, like after I, I typed what I typed, I was it, like the stream froze and I couldn't really get it to come back properly. So I apologize for that. I think the next one is upstairs. Yep, okay. Hopefully this will work and I won't need the girls and the Kawira won't be too insane. I'm doing well, how are you? It's okay, I understand, yeah. Twitch is a butt sometimes. I'm good, I'm good. As I was telling you um, from going on my cruise, I got sunburned but didn't peel. I got a little sun on my face and didn't peel for the first time in a really long time. That is not typical for me. So I was really happy about that. Really, really happy about that. So I had a good Christmas. This one? Yes. Are you back to work yet? Are the kids back in, in the care? In the daycare? In the school? We're back to work. I went to back to work on uh, Tuesday. Monday was our last day off. Or our last day that we were closed. 
So it was a nice, really long, relaxing vacation. Oh my gosh, three elementals, four elementals in a row. That is unhelpful. Oh, but it's this one. <laughs> They're all facing left. It's got to be this guy. Oh! Wait a second. Maybe it's that little Armet guy? Okay, yeah. Let's try the Armet. There we go. We went back Wednesday, but not all eight babies were here the last three days. We only have five, so nice way to ease back into work. That is nice. That is nice that you didn't have to have all the whole kids back so quick. But I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, the parents go back to work and stuff. Most of them probably do need the school after New Year's. So they probably can't take off too much more than that. All the parents, anyway. All right, Unamas. Okay, yes, we did, I think, pass this with just our fiends. Don't let that coil get you guys. Don't let him. Oh, no. Oh, yay! He guards against the Death Blast. Nice. I don't telekin- just flare. Just flare him. Machina Hunter, flare. Oh, no. God. Come on. Don't let the Kuril best you guys. You can do it. Don't lose on the very last one. There we go. Good job. Okay, last fiend. Let's make sure everybody's healed up. And here we go. So because we have to open the chocobo dungeon, we are gonna have to catch a chocobo before chapter five, at least one. Easy peasy. Oh, thank you so much. What dream? I'm going to start a ch No one will bother me here. I Good luck. Oh, no. I can't raise. That's right. That's right, Clasco. You need a chocobo to have a chocobo ranch. <laughs> Which you apparently can't catch a chocobo on your own either, but you're going to raise them. Good thing you're friends with me. Oh, bless me. All right, there's one other thing we need to do in the Calm Lands because I want to show you guys um, all the scenes, right? And there are three different scenes in regard to Liam and Aid. So we have to go start their little thing by going and talking to them um, over here. I think they should show up. Hopefully we didn't mess up something in chapter one that's going to make them not show up, but we're going to try. Because I am realizing I do not remember what we did in chapter one. <laughs> ah. 
Yes, okay, they're here. Such a gap. Okay, we've already seen this scene. We're, we're only doing this scene so that we can trigger the later scene. Okay, so that's that. Let's board the airship. All right, I want to check and see if we leveled up enough to finish any of the tails for the ones we've got in the party. Okay, yes, okay, so let's read the Vespa tale. Hey, thanks for catching me. I've been so bored lately. You might not know by looking at me, but I used to be a master thief. I was real good at escaping. So I see something like this trap pod and I can't help but get excited. What? You're saying that even I can't escape out of this one? <laughs> well then I'll consider that a challenge. I'll make you eat those words. Hey, you think you could give me something to pass the time? I've got nothing to do all day. If I had a pen, then I could keep a diary. Or, you know, spin it around or clean my ears with it. How about it? What? No? <laughs> Guess you won't fall for an easy one like that. He's trying to escape. This little guy trying to escape. How dare. There was this guy. He was like a little brother to me, but he was a klutz and basically useless. So anyway, he messes up on a job and we both end up getting tossed in jail. It wouldn't have been hard for me to break out, but the kid, he felt responsible for getting us caught. He used himself as a decoy so that I could escape and he died. Stupid kid. He didn't have to. Hey, sorry for getting all somber. If you could just lend me a pen, I'll... No dice, huh? Cheapskate. Sob stories don't work on you either, I guess. There was this, oh, same one. Okay, anyway, next time. Uh, you're a pretty sharp guy, I have to admit. It's been a while since I've had this much trouble. I like you, kid. You've got a lot of brass for someone so young. I mean, I've seen many things in my life, but nothing ever quite this refreshing. Yes, okay, I admit defeat. You won, I lost, well done. Hey, you've won now, so would you mind actually lending me a pen? I, you know, want to write you a message. Verbally, it would be sort of embarrassing. Really? You'll lend me one? I guess flattery works then. <laughs> well, he tried every tactic, found one that worked. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the, um, the hydrate and posture checks, Lunar. Oh, and Pokemon has a Wooloo up. Nice. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's see Vespa's story. Shinra lent a pen to Vespa. A few days later... Escaped. Think you're clever, huh? I told you this was a match between you and me. This is my message for you, so don't you forget it. There was a homing device attached, you know. <laughs> oh, Shinra clever. Okay, okay, we see him. We know where he is. This match isn't over, not by a long shot. Oh, Shinra gonna chase him. Get him, Shinra, get him. Oh, trap pot. <laughs> that was it? Okay, that was kind of cute. Alright, let's see if, uh... The others... Okay, yes, okay. Battle report, three. Seventh unit obliterated, number one, number two, number four, number eight, destroyed. Number three, number five, number six, captured by Albed, repeat, seventh unit obliterated. Battle report, oh, 05. Plan to attack Albed Camp Northern Desert. Mission, retrieve data from captured 7th unit members. If data is irre irretrievable, erase. I almost couldn't read that word for a second. Shinra analysis, battle for dominance between Albed and Machina rebels. Battle report 9, new program download at 70%. After repairs, join 3rd unit, comply. Program download at 90%. After repairs, join 3rd unit, comply. Battle report 17, captured by unknown object and moved, location unknown. Unable to identify code name number seven. Content not included in programming. Shinra analysis. Looks like he's talking about getting caught in the trap pod. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what his story is. The liberated Machina Hunter still bound by its programming. Embarks on a mission to retrieve a unit captured by the Albed.
Infiltration complete. No enemy readings. Number two, number five, searching. Can you hear me, number seven? Identify yourself. Get out of here, number seven. Is it the hover talking to him? The Albed will be back soon. Number three. Number four. Please verify. Have you been modified by the enemy? Oh no. What are those sparks? Warning, body temperature rising. Anomaly in my neural network, massive processing load. What is this feeling? Feeling. This form of stimulus should be unknown to me. What is feeling? What lies within my hardware? No, within my heart, my mind. What? Ah, uh, so you've awakened as well. This is how we've been speaking to you all this time. They're back. Run number seven. Machine remnants. Why shoot? Why shoot? What was the jolt of power that propelled Machina Hunter in the end? Was it just a bug in the system, or...? Oh, did they take it out just because he had feelings? That's so sad. I don't like that. That was, that was not nice. Okay, him too. Okay, let's go. People call me Knife. Grew up in a street gang in Luca. My family was killed by sin when I was a little kid. I was so desperate just to survive every day. I got my hands on a small blade that used to belong to my father, and that became my main survival tool. Huh. After I got a knife, I wasn't scared of anything or anyone. Even big guys, they saw the knife and started shaking. I thought I had grown stronger somehow. <laughs> what a joke. So now I'm dead, but life as a fiend makes me feel more alive than ever. When I was a human kid, I felt a little guilty when I hurt other people. Now, I feel nothing. Oh my gosh, are we gonna have another sad one? This is like intense. I remember now how I died. I was killed by a kid not unlike myself. He had a knife too. He killed me to take my name. Now in Luca, everyone calls him knife. Oh no. Okay, what's going on with you, Viper Sniper? Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, it's this is the current knife. Took my name. <laughs> well, just you watch. Hey, scared stiff. I bet you're shooting him. What are you doing? This is your future right here, knife. Ah, okay, good. The kid's the kid's still alive. Oh, good. <gasps> no one can take this name. Oh, that's how he. No one deserved a sad name like knife. Oh. Well, hopefully that kid won't go down your path, knife. 
Gosh, these are so intense sometimes. Okay, so we've got room for three more. So let's go trap some more creatures. Um, okay, there's another large one in Xanarkin. So we're going to try to trap that one. Guardian Beast. Yes, that's what we want. All right, and then we have... Is that a large? Yeah, that's a large. Okay, and then there's a large in Mushroom Rock. Okay, yes, Drowsy Ochu, that's what we want. All right, and we can get one more. Um, let's do... Favelle has a bunch, smalls and medium, so let's put a medium there. All right. Yak 13. Alright, let's once again put some guys in the party. Um, let's just do... Let's just do... Do I want to just do a large one? Yeah, let's just do Guardian Beast. Let's just play with him. Oh, why am I scrolling down so far? Valiant Luster. And we'll give him... Um, an Iron Duke, and a Crystal Bangle. Let's pump him up. Pump him up. Okay, next stop is Jose. We have to get our letter of introduction from Jose, because we skipped that in chapter one. So if you try to go to B Canal without doing this step, it's just going to send you back here. So you do eventually, you do have to do it in chapter one or chapter two. So we had, we had a queue. Time to queue. Just going to, just going to follow this guy. One more. Almost next. All right, we're next. Bong. Let's go in. I want to dig. Do we have to? Okay, no, we go outside. That skipped all that, okay. Never been this close. Sorry, Gipple, I cut you off. You sure you? I'm gonna do it. I wanna do it again. It won't let me. We're sure. Oh, because I had to mark that. There we go. Now we can cut him off again. Alright, got our letter of introduction. Now, that's all the stuff that's not like chapter required to, to progress that we needed to unlock to make sure the right things are unlocked. So we're gonna go get our uniforms now. First one just so happens to be right here. So let's grab it. We gotta find that sphere or the Why can't I skip this scene? Hey. 
Let's find someone's turning Yuna in. Yuna's always been a bad girl. Going against people's wishes. Alright, Guardian Beast, do your thing. I believe in you. He just telekinesis all three, okay. I don't think you should do that when we fight um, Ormi and Logos here, but whatever, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. It's a Chibokobo. We're not going to catch it though. Ooh, gold elemental oversoul. I've been wanting that. Right? That's the one I was trying to get before? Yes! I was trying to get it from that element trio and it just wasn't working out because the other ones kept oversouling. Nice. Okay, sweet. There you go. Just attacking is a bit faster. You should probably do that. We don't care about that sphere. Oh wait, no we do. We have to pick it up. That's right, that's right. Picking it up is what triggers the thing. There we go. So that's where, where it was. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. I appreciate Let me see yeah, who's finding it for us now. What? Done. The goal win. These men. So then we take it back. Huh? And on that note, take it. Okay, time to fight. And I don't think he. Maybe he can telekinesis the she goon or Mrs. Goon or whatever she is, but. I don't think he's he can telekinesis on me and Logos, so hopefully he won't try <laughs> to do that. Oh no, he's gonna try. Can he do it? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, guard. That's what I thought. Just attack. Is such sweet sorrow. Just attack him. It'll be okay. Oh, Damocles Photon. Okay, maybe he'll use that. You don't need to cure yourself. They didn't do that much damage. Parting is such sweet sorrow. There we go. That's what he really wants to do. <laughs> Look at that. Looking at Ormi though, I still like really wish there was a shield dress sphere. Because there is the gunner dress sphere, so I feel like a shield one should exist too to match Ormi. Good job, Guardian Beast. Thank you. All right, so that is uniform number one. I know. Okay, yeah. I didn't think he leveled up enough for that, but I just wanted to double check. Oh, 
All right, so we can go get our next uniform. Um, we got that letter of introduction, so we could do this. So we're going to go to Beacon L. Danger! Danger! Can I skip? Nope. Suspicious signal detected. Okay, pick it. Yeah, I know. I'm the suspicious signal. I'm busy, so make it fast, okay? Uni. Uh, that's up. Nice to meet you. Hmm. I guess the high summoner's hard up too. Not hard up. I just love to dig in the well, dirt. Don't be expecting. I like to diggy diggy hole. Treatment. Right. We'll send you out there by hover. Go talk to the pilot about it. Oh, before you start digging, some strange stuff's been washing up. Don't worry. I'll go check the oasis. Heard. Loud and clear, not a law. My next... Uh, uniform is in the oasis. That's your sphere, Riku. Well, you can lead a goal with. Oh, say those are not enough of this non. All right, is he going to try to telekinesis everyone again? I hope he just starts out with the Damocles. There we go. Just destroy them all. Uniform number two. I know. Okay, yeah, he still didn't. I guess he didn't level at all during that mission. Okay. All right, we're going to go save. I'm pretty sure I can get the third uniform. Um, and the point of no return is really going to Guado Salam after that. I don't think the third uniform itself. Like, I don't think it's going to force me to go to Guado Salam after I get the third uniform. So let's go grab that. And then we won't go to Guado Salam yet until we've finished all the the fiend tales all right so third uniform is in mount gagazette let's go kimari sorry about kimari look kim already disappointed <sighs> thank you so much for the lurk lunar we love our lurkers here. Really appreciate it.
I think he needs to get to level 16 to be finished. Because he only had the two things, and usually you need five. Must be up. Yes, no we have to room. climb it. Don't worry, you guys can do it. I was like, I don't have to go get that treasure or anything this time. I can just go straight through. Oh, almost got all the way through without a random battle. can't skip this one either why why in gagazette that's like so many scenes that you can't skip think it's okay did you work talk about it all you like leblanc's not going hey not that it matters <laughs> you got me a hot sounds nice i know cool. i don't know they're the one exactly hey your little helpers are to what? Look out, look out! What? Hey! Alright, last uniform. I think when we do it this way, we have to do two fights or something like that. Yeah, don't try to telekinesis him. He can't do it. Just scratch him. Oh my gosh, I can't skip this part either. The, or is it the pe oh. Don't worry, I beat you up too. Beat ups for everybody. And I really like using Guardian Beast. I know he's like all by himself, but that Damocles Photon looks so cool. This is brother. How is mission accomplished? <laughs> we found ourselves a uniform. 
Oh, we can probably skip this. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Whatever. Well, eat. We're up. Let's settle the score. Okay, yes, it's not going to force me. Okay, fantastic. Let's do our fiend tails. Yeah, so that's all you really need to do in chapter four other than, you know, finish all the fiend tails. So let's do that. Um, I wonder. I wonder how he can do against Forest Watch. Because we still do need to get the uh, Oversoul on the Amorphous Blob. So, yeah, I'm curious. Well, it's still going to take him down to one. That's not a good sign. You're just gonna keep curing yourself? You do actually have to attack. Yeah. I don't know why they do that. Okay, so if he does the Damocles Photon, then he can kill it. So maybe we'll try to see if we can get the Oversoul by fighting these guys over and over. Just open up with Damocles Photon. That's all you need to do. Maybe I can get this Oversoul. I don't know how many kills you have to get on these gels to get them to Oversoul, though. We'll find out. Oh, but he only needs one more level. Okay. Well, let's see. We can get closer anyway. I'm gonna see how many gel kills you need. Oh my gosh. Why? Why game? Just calm down. I'm just I'm just googling things. Twenty-two. It's twenty-two defeats. But we'll get closer. 
Oh, I need to go check Shinra's thing, too, to see if we did get the gold elemental. We should have. Okay, well, he anyway, he's leveled up. Okay, let's back out. I'm going to just double check Shinra's bestiary real quick. No. Okay, yes, gold elemental. Done. Sweet. I know. Alright, let's see the Guardian Beast. I, at one time, went through rigorous training by Yevon to become a Guardian Beast. I fought many fiends and many humans, and I defeated them all. A thousand years ago, Yevon sought out many strong beasts such as myself to train as guardians. To achieve victory on those training grounds, I was oh, to achieve victory on those training grounds was to live another day. There was never a death of pyreflies on those training grounds. Oh, oh, I see. They're all bad deaths. There was never a death of pyre. There was never a dearth. Oh, that says dearth. Oh my God. Reading is hard. There was never a dearth of pyreflies pyre on those training grounds. We saw the dreams they brought day and night. Illusions become dreams and mix with reality. In those dreams, I pose a query. If one could become a blade that would tear the world asunder, would I wish it? As a fiend, I had become a living blade. Though many daunting foes stood before me, human or fiend, they fell before me. In this illus illusory dream, I continued to fight. By the time I realized the emptiness, it was too late. This arena brings many brings back many bitter memories of battle. Allow me to be free. I no longer wish to fight anymore. Oh, okay. I am caught by the pyreflies rising out of the fiend arena. The dream I have been trapped in for a thousand years, it's both dream and reality. All humans and all fiends have been destroyed by my power. I am the only one left in the world. It is my dream of the end. In this dream, I begin walking through a barren wasteland in search of someone. If I can't escape this dream, then I will stay and fight. Oh, okay, Xanarkin Guard entered the Fiend Arena. Nice. Uh, yes. Get it, get it, get it. All right, let's trap. We have one more large that we can trap for this chapter. It's on Meehan High Road, so let's try to do it. Chocobo Eater, yes! Done. All right, let's mark him out. Okay, that's all the larges. There's just mediums and smalls left. All right, I wonder if any of these others can also beat the amorphous gel. Got Rook, Chocobo Eater, Drowsy Ochu. What if I give. What if I do Drowsy Ochu and make it like the caster? I think I just pump up his stats really high. <laughs> okay. Oh, not Crystal Bangle. What am I thinking? I need him to have Ragnarok and Ring. Oh, not Organized Team. Okay, let's see if we can take out Forest Watch.
I can't believe I've not killed the gel um, 22 times yet. You should just flare. What are you doing? Maybe Ochu has too many abilities to choose from. Because he really wants to do the status effects. But you can't do the status effects. Oh my god, not flare on that one. Flare the other one first. <sighs> you dumb butt. Okay. He can't do it. <laughs> uh, Alright. Ender tournament. Can he do standard cup hard? Let's see. Hang on. Did I... I've oh, I've only got one tournament win. Okay, so I haven't beaten it again for this, for this time. I do need to beat it again. Okay, he's gonna fight no apologies. Okay. You can definitely beat these guys. There you go. not going to do anything against a Machina. Okay, there we go. I thought I was about to lose on round one for a second there. Uh, yes, we need more S's. Okay, who's next? Silver Brothers. Okay, good. I do need them. Because I need to oversold the white things. These guys are so fast. Oh, we're gonna, yep. Too fast for the Ochu. Too fast for the Ochu. Okay. Uh, yeah, get it. Okay, since I saw the Silver Brothers, are they gonna be in the battle simulator now? Even though I didn't beat them? Yes, okay, you only have to see them. Okay. Well, let's just do the regular standard cup to get you to finish your fiend tail, Drowsy Ochu.
See, when he flares, things go his way. There we go. Oh, yeah, we'll get it. All right, just flare him. Just flare him. Don't do anything crazy. There we go. Uh, yes, we need the M's. Okay, last one is against No Fear. Okay. No Fear, no problem. Should be easy peasy. Sometimes I feel like the fiends have AI that doesn't let them do like pointless things and then sometimes I just watch them do pointless things. Like you know better Ochu, you have learned this already. Uh, we don't need, yeah, we don't need any L's. Okay, since there was a bonus there, I think we m might have gotten this one. Let's go look. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. We need two more. So we'll just do the standard cup again. Because then we should... He should level... And he should get the bonus, so then we'll be all good. Go, Ochu! There is cat fur, like, all over these. It looks like the camera's not picking it up, but it's there. <sighs> uh, I think I never, like, got the cat fur off of these um, after last time I was petting Lady while wearing them. I'm gonna try to get it off. It's like in between the little paw pads. Okay, yeah, that looks much better. Yay, no more cat fur. Oh, we won. Oh, and level up, good. No, we don't need that. Oh no, it's Forest Watch. Please flare. Please flare, Mr. Ochu. Don't waste your time. Well. Well, oh gosh. Didn't get the bonus. <clears throat> All right, let's just try to kill something. 
Uh, I don't know. Sure, whatever. Let's get the level up. Something easy. Did I get even enough experience for that? No, like nothing. Um, okay. I think it is going to be best to just do the tournament again. Just double check and make sure we need to, but I think we do. Yep, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, if I- oh. 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 The game is against me, y'all. <laughs> it's against me, it don't want me to do this. Be smart, Ochu. Not- Oh! Oh, he did flare the right one! <gasps> Yay! Good job, Ochu. Good job, Ochu. That's what we like to see. Well, now we know he can win the tournament. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to get that. Dang it, whatever. I was so excited. I was so excited we'd be Forest Watch. <sighs> Dang, that hurt. Come up here. Ah. Hey, lady, come here. Come up here, and I'll pet you. Okay. Did we? Did, we didn't level up enough, did we? We need to get sixteen. Oh no, we did. Okay, 15 was right. Okay. Tenra analysis. Drowsy Ochu is his name? A docile creature posing no danger to humans. <laughs> Shinra analysis. Let me try analyzing his dreams. Drowsy Ochu is surrounded by butterflies. He's sleeping without a care in the world. <laughs> I can't I can't believe this game having making snoring noises. Shinra analysis, let me try analyzing the yearly life cycle. Spring hibernation in summer, summer hibernation, oh, spring hibernation in a flower bed, summer hibernation by the sea, long autumn night hibernation and snowy winter hibernation. It's asleep for almost the entire year. <laughs> uh, Shinra analysis, drowsy Ochu is still doing what he does best. He's dreaming of an afternoon nap in the calm lands. I'm starting to think we shouldn't keep him in here like this. Yeah, maybe he just should sleep. And maybe he just should sleep forever. It's what he seems to want. I'm so happy.
Yeah. The dream ends. Oh no! Wait, is this real? Or is this a bad dream? <gasps> I think it's real! It was just sleeping! A dream? We all need to quiet quality- Yeah, We all need quality sleep. Okay, so it was a dream. They weren't really shooting him. Whew. I think that's what, what happened there. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Alright, let's trap another creature. Um, okay. We don't need any more larges. We do need some more mediums in Bavel. So, let's get that. Okay, yes, we do need you. Let's mark you out. We're gonna set that L, but we're, you know, we don't need it, so like, it's whatever. But I just need to get rid of it. Okay. Okay, let's do our next large one, Chocobo Eater. So we're going to do the same thing where we see if Chocobo Eater can beat up the Forest Watch. And we're just going to give him Mascot so he can we can pump up his stats. We're going to give him Iron Duke. Oh, you know what? If we give him both Iron Dukes... That does pump him up even more. Yeah. We could do that. We could do that. Okay, that's what we'll try. That's what we'll try. But before then, we're going to pause right here. We're actually going to go save. We're going to take a break. Um, okay. So, get a save sphere. If you are watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. Come back tomorrow for the episode where we, we fight with the, the joke about eater, okay? Bye recording people in the future. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>